Hey, 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 everybody, it's Keenan and Family Gaming, and we are back at you with another Disney Infinity 2.0 toy box. Today, we are doing Deep Bench Bra by Pirate Steven. Disney Infinity has a Deep Bench Bra. Discover and explore that Deep Bench, or use this template to inspire your own Deep Bench toy box created with Papa Echo. Let's go ahead and start this thing off. Disney Infinity does have a Deep Bench Bra, that's for sure. And it's a Pirate Steven toy box, so we know it's going to be... A, pretty cool, and number two, I have some awesome box art in it, and I think this one is just basically to showcase what Disney Infinity 2.0 Toy Box has to offer and for future iterations, and for you guys to use this template for yourselves in your own Toy Box creations. So let's go ahead and start this thing. It's also a plus that we got Papa Echo helping with the creation. Oh, there's the bench already. I can see that big bad boy. Our bench is deep, bro. John Vignaki. That is a direct quote from John Vignaki right there. Bro, look at that. That is so cool, man. We got all the characters lined up on the bench. Have fun exploring Disney Infinity's deep bench, bro. And then we get, we get some Toy Story, uh, the, the jetpack, but I don't really want to use that, honestly. I'm not even gonna lie. I like this epic beginning. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on my green goblin glider. There we go. Boom. And we are off to check out the deep bench, bro. First, I want to start off over here and see if there's anything extra special. We just got a nice start. Laid really nice. Look at that big, huge bench. That is so awesome. I want to see how I want to see these characters how they're lined up. They're all character. Uh, the the logic is to have them pretty much stand and stand still, bro. Let's see if we can look at it from afar. Ready, bro? That is so cool. All right, so it looks like we've got just about all the really cool um, standalone like buildings and. Um, not creativity toys or anything like that, but more of the buildings and cool stuff that's in Disney Infinity, like the cool pirate ship, a big huge bench. No, it's, you you really got to create the bench. That was just created for this toy box. Deep bench, bro. We've also got the Gravity Falls Mystery Shack. This is like, it reminds me of the Iron Man place. Uh, I can't remember what the name of it is, actually. And then, oh look, down there is a land speeder. That's cool. This you get if you have all the characters for Disney Infinity 2.0. It unlocks in the Hall of Heroes. We still haven't done that yet. And then of course, look at that. We get Rex. Model Train Man would be so proud right now. We've got a little bit of the MU Flare over here. And then a Jack the Skeleton King gate. And then Aladdin's Cave of Wonders entrance. What's really cool about this is that if you place it on a certain like block area, this Aladdin's Cave Wonder things, it'll open up like a nice little door entrance thing. It's pretty cool. I like the Cave of Wonders entrance place. This is the It's a Small World piece. There's a button, yep, right over here. And now this will open up on both sides and little drummer boys and horn guy will come out and they'll play us a nice little song. Boom. It's the same thing on the other side. You'll see the same characters. That is really, really sweet. I do like the fact that this piece opens up. There's the Carl Fredrickson up house over there. We've got basketball. You can actually play basketball and shoot it. There was a toy box I did right around when the beginning of Disney Infinity 2.0 came out. Um, it was a Gravity Falls Adventure one where you could actually shoot the hoops. It was really, really sweet. This is a little shark thing. Um, I'm not really exactly sure what that one is from. Then we've got the big old Epcot Center over here. This bench looks like a bridge that I'm underneath. That's kind of cool. Um, over here is the Doofenshmirtz building. This one opens up as well. And it'll actually show you as soon as you hit the button that the observatory opens up right up top. That's pretty cool. And then we've also got the Spider-Man Tower. We'll actually check that out up top here. That is quite sweet. I like the holographic type images. 
and like LED display screen. It's really, really cool. Over here is the Avengers Tower. And I love the Avengers Tower. I don't know if there's, I don't think there's a button down here on the Avengers Tower. And we've also got a Rapunzel playset piece. Well, not playset piece, but toy box piece, which is their tower. It's a big, long string of hair that you climb up like a rope, and you can make it to the top of the Rapunzel Tower. If you remember the movie, this is a great piece from the movie itself. Nice Disney lore. I love it. Now, the Epcot Tower, you can't go in, but you can go underneath it, and you can glide on out if you're driving and jump on off that piece that's pretty sweet now over this way is the scrooge mcduck money bin and this also opens and closes at the top and you can actually dive right into the money bin which is sweet and you can kind of swim around and play in it look at that that is so cool you can close yourself in if you want to you can be alone with your money, but then you can't get back out. And then there's a climbing pole to get yourself right back out of the money bin, which is quite awesome. And let's see. Do we have anything else that's over here that's worth noting? Oh, the tree. This tree right here is quite sweet. It's one of my favorite pieces in Disney Infinity. It's just like a magical, fantastical tree that has all kinds of like leaves and stuff. Or, yeah, like little leaves float around it's a cool set piece I really really like it and then last but not least almost last but not least um, over here we actually got pride rock that is from the Lion King movie if we only had quadrupeds quadrupeds in Disney infinity that would be great it would definitely make sense to have pride rock there if we had say Lion King characters That'd be pretty cool. But nonetheless, we get Pride Rock. And then also, last but not least, we have the Disney Castle, which has to be, it's actually been here since the beginning. I think this castle is pretty much unchanged uh, between the two games. And we are done there. We've got a full view of this toy box and all the really cool things. This is just, this just scratches the surface though. So. Once you get to the creativity toys and logic connections and all kinds of other stuff, there's a lot of really, really cool things that you can do in the Disney Infinity toy box. And that's basically what this toy box is all about, is to showcase the cool features and buildings and things that Disney Infinity has to offer. And we are done there, my friends. If you want more Disney Infinity 2.0 toy boxes, make sure that you slap that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And for now... I'll put let's, let's see if we don't blow them away here. We're gonna throw on our boost pack and check out the bro. Ready? Whoop. Bro, peace out and bedazzle.